So after the so-called news yesterday of warning for your Fire Sticks, Fire TV devices, that third party apps are putting malware, viruses on your Fire Sticks and Fire TV devices, whether you believe it or not, yesterday's video I will link underneath, I'll show you in a minute anyway. What we're gonna do today, what better way to set your minds at ease is to check your device for malware. Sound good? Of course it does. So we're gonna run an app, we're gonna do searches through all your applications which will let us know if you have any viruses on your device. Sound good? Brilliant. First things first, remember if you are new here, do hit that subscribe button. Yesterday's video is here talking about the warnings which have come through all the media at the moment about third party apps. So we might as well prove to you that yours are safe or not safe. Simple as that. And we've got every other streaming video here you want. Regular watchers, you may have seen something like this before, but a rehash and a recheck is no problem at all, and we're gonna make it really simple. So the app we're gonna use is this one. There is another app we can use, which I'm sure loads of comments saying you could just use this app, but it gives a lot of false positives, so we're not gonna use that one. We're gonna use this one, and you open it up, and what you'll get is a scan button. So you click that scan button, it runs a scan of all the apps on your device. That will scan through now. You click OK on this because it's not a phone, and what you'll see on the side there is um, green ticks, maybe an orange, and you can also get reds, okay? Reds are applications you need to remove, okay? Normally reds are high warnings, or at least double check. If they're an official app and they have a red, then it's a bit different because an official app isn't gonna have anything malicious in there like malware, but it may be using your information. But if it's a third party app and it has a red, it's worth removing, okay? So on mine, I've got no reds because obviously I check all my apps regularly. Let me know in the comments if you have any reds on yours. Um, I've installed one app just so I could flag something up for you which shows an orange. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what the app is. I just installed it to show it. And what you want to do is just try and have a look. If you're not too sure of what's in it, it might be something you wanna do, but it's detected for. You can load the report. Sometimes they load, sometimes they don't. This one says we don't have to report. Do you wanna submit it? So it's thing, but if it's detecting for, you can run these through their website, but this has done us well in the past and it's always been fairly right. So if there's anything you're not too sure about, or if your device has been lagging, running slow, even running hotter than it should do, that's more signs, okay? So how do we install this application? Really easily, we're gonna install it from my website and I'm gonna put you a direct code to it as well, okay? So what we're gonna do first of all is get this app called Downloader. To do that, we need to go to the magnifying glass and in here, in the search, we're gonna type downloader, nice and obvious. Downloader, you're gonna click that, then you're gonna click downloader, and you're gonna click it, and you're gonna get it installed, okay? Once it's installed, do not open it yet. Do not open it yet. Push your home button. From here, go to your settings menu. Go down to My Fire TV. Click on developer options. If you do not have developer options, just if you don't have it, click on about and click on the one which is your name seven times, not your name, your device name. Fire TV Stick 4K Max is mine. Click on it seven times. It will then say you are now a developer. And when you go back one, you will have those developer options. Click developer options, turn ADB debugging on, install unknown apps, and it needs to be on for downloader. Okay, perfect. Push your home button. You need to find this downloader app. If you can see it, just click it and open it. If not, go to the free squares and the plus. Go down to my apps, and in here you will find the downloader app somewhere, okay? It's a big orange with downloader written on it. As it opens, make sure you accept the permissions. If you don't accept the permissions as it opens, uninstall it and reinstall it and go again, because the apps will not download without permission to access your files. It needs to access your files to save the downloaded application. Right, we are then gonna type this code in, 28658. Okay, that's 28658. We click go, and that will redirect to my website. Once we get to my website, we scroll down, we are getting the virus total APK, and we click on the big download button. It's nearly easy. Watch out for adverts. Google put adverts on which look like a download button. Let me move my head. We can then click on install. You can then click on done. You then click on delete and delete. Brilliant. Sorry, push home button on your device. We now need to find 
this application, the virus total. So you go into your free squares and the plus, go to my apps again, and you'll find it in here, probably at the bottom. Mine's at the top. It looks like a bit of an E. Click it and then run your scan and you can do what we did at the beginning of the video. One of the best ways to stay safe is to install applications from maybe my website or other trusted YouTubers, Lee TV, uh, Tech Doctor UK, Free Tech. Um, there's many more out there as well because um, they, I'm, if they're like me, they will virus scan their apps before they put them on their websites. Okay, because the last thing we want to do is be giving out apps with viruses in them. Okay, other ways you can actually use the Virus Total website to check an APK file if you know how to. If anyone wants that video, we can show that in the future as well. And obviously the final way to keep you safe, safe, you've removed all the malware. Sorry, let me just show you how to remove an application for those who might have found one with a red. So if you found one with a red, you go to your settings, go to applications, go to manage installed applications, and then you can go down here and find the application you want to remove. For instance, if, I don't know, say if Iversy was showing a red, you can just push uninstall. And that's gone. Okay, so you push play to uninstall or click on it and you have an uninstall. Yeah, nice and easy. Right, where were we? Brilliant. To stay up to date, we will keep you up to date with any apps we hear of with viruses or any news, news articles as well. So do hit that subscribe button. Or if you're watching this on another platform, do hit that follow button. That's all on there. And obviously, a final way to keep yourself safe online. This is a way to be connected privately online, so it won't be going through your IP address. Protect your Fire TV, Android TV, streaming apps, add-ons and downloads with up to 74% off. No traffic logs policy, unmetered device and bandwidth. This is a VPN, a virtual private network, can be installed on your Fire Stick. Protect Fire TV Stick traffic, secure your streaming activity, simplify online safety. Surf the web without a trace. If you're intrigued about this, this is a great offer. We are partnered with them. There is a link underneath this video where you can have a read about it yourself. Think about whether you would like one yourself. We have videos. I have IP Vanish on my Fire Stick. I use it very regularly. Um, I connect it. Also helps for accessing geo-locked content, things like that. It's all there, all easy to be activated, and it's just one price, and you can use that on all devices then. Brilliant. So. I've been Doc Squiffy. I hope you liked that video. We'll be back next couple of days with another video. Check out some of our other ones if you are interested. Thank you for watching. I'm Doc Squiffy. Search Doc Squiffy on all socials and you will find me. I'll see you soon.